Transport Phenomena in Biosystem, Module 3, Viscosity and Momentum, Segment 2, Generalization of Newton's Law of Viscosity. With me, Yusuf, from Bioengineering Study Program, School of Life Sciences and Ethnology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Previously, we have discussed about Newton's Law of Viscosity. In this segment, we will discuss about the generalization of Newton's Law of Viscosity. In the previous segment, the viscosity was defined by equation 3-2 in terms of a simple steady-state sharing flow in which Vx is a function of y alone and Vy and Vz are zero. Usually, we are interested in more complicated flows in which the three velocity components may depend on all three coordinates and possibly on time. Therefore, we must have an expression more general than equation 3-2 but it must be simplified for steady state sharing flow. Let's consider a very general flow pattern in which the fluid velocity may be in various directions at various places and may depend on the time t. The velocity components are then given by equation 3 5. In such a situation, there will be nine stress components tau ij. In order to define the stress components, let's consider a small cube-shaped volume element within the flow field, each face having unit area as shown in the right figure. The center of the volume element is at position x, y, z. At any instant of time, we can slice the volume element in such a way as to remove half the fluid within it. As shown in the figure, we can cut the volume perpendicular to each of the three coordinates directions in turn. We can then ask what force must be applied on the shaded surface in order to replace the force that had been exerted on that surface by the fluid that was removed. There will be two contributions to the force. First, the one that associated with the pressure force and second, viscous force. The pressure force will always be perpendicular to the exposed surface. Hence, in figure A, the force per unit area on the shaded surface will be a vector rho do x, that is the pressure, multiplied by the unit vector rho in the x direction. Similarly, the force on the shaded surface in figure 2 will be rho do y, and in figure C, the force will be rho do z. The pressure forces will be exerted when the fluid is stationary, as well as when it is in motion. The viscous forces come into play only when there are velocity gradients within the fluid. In general, they are neither perpendicular to the surface element nor parallel to it, but rather at some angle to the surface. In figure A, we see a force per unit area tau x exerted on the shaded area, and in figure B and figure C, we see forces per unit area tau y and tau z. Each of these forces, which are vectors, has components. For example, tau x has component tau x x, tau x y, and tau x z. All the forces acting on the three shaded areas is shown in the previous figure are shown in this table. This tabulation is a summary of the forces per unit area exerted within a fluid both by the thermodynamic pressure and the viscous stresses. Both types of stresses can be combined to yield a molecular stresses as shown in the equation 3.6. Pi ij may be interpreted in two ways. First, force in the j direction on unit area perpendicular to the i direction, and second, flux of j momentum in the positive i direction that is from the region of lesser x to that greater x. The stresses pi xx, pi yy and pi zz are called normal stresses whereas the remaining quantities are called shear stresses. These quantities, which have two subscripts associated with the coordinate directions, are referred to as tensors. Therefore, we will refer to tau as the viscous stress tensors and pi as the molecular stress tensors. 
The generalization for Newton's law of viscosity can be expressed by equation 3-7 that consists of nine relations. Tau yz is the force in the positive x direction on a plane perpendicular to the y direction and that this is the force exerted by the fluid in the region of the lesser y on the fluid of greater y. For the next segment, we will discuss about pressure and temperature dependence of viscosity. Until then, I am Yusuf from Institute Technology Bandung.